Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've been putting together this little one page site here, which is fine and dandy, it's great. But we've got this carousel at the top here, or slider. And at the moment, the slides fade from right to left. Or I should say, they slide from right to left across the screen here, which is fine, and they do it automatically. What if you want to change that from a sliding effect like that into just a fading effect? Well, it's really, really simple. And I'll show you how to do it. Uh, we've been using the free text editor brackets. If you haven't got it, you can download it from a link below this video. I'm just going to open our index.html file, which is the HTML for that particular page. And if we go down to where we put the carousel, which is right here, just under the nav bar where the header ends, we've got our carousel here. And where it says class carousel slide, all we need to do to change this is put carousel fade dash fade. Carousel dash fade and save. And now that should have changed our slider. If I refresh, just leave it. It should be sliding left to right or right to left. There we go, it's still sliding. Now when I refresh, it should actually fade. There we go. Now they're fading into each other. So how simple was that? If that's all you needed to know, that's the video over with. But, and I've had a question about this. So what if I've got a lot of information on here and I want that slide to stay on screen a bit longer? Now I think the way we've got it set, if I put my mouse over it, it's not gonna slide anyway. But if by default, or fade anyway now, if by default you want it to stay there a longer time, without the mouse on there. If I take it off, it'll start sliding again in a few seconds. Or fading, I mean to say. Um, so, you know, so you've got a lot of information here and you want people to look at the picture and, and do it for a bit longer. Well, we can add a bit of JavaScript that will let us dictate the timing. I think by default here, it's about five seconds. The 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Yeah, it's around five seconds. So let's go ahead and change it. If we go back into our bracket software, we're just gonna have to write a bit of JavaScript. I'll put this code down below the video so you don't have to worry about copying it on screen if you wish to use it. So we're gonna open ourselves some new script tags. So it's pointy bracket script close pointy bracket and it adds the closing one for you right there now in between as with most javascript we've got to start with the dollar sign and then we're going to open and close some round brackets and inside there we want to put a single inverted comma or a single inverted comma there we go Inside there, we want to put the class name, which is carousel. So it's dot carousel. Okay. Now after that, we want to put that class name again. Then we want to open some more round brackets and inside we want to put some curly brackets. So round brackets, inside, curly brackets. There we go. Now between, I'm going to separate the curly brackets there, is where we want to put our code telling our slider the amount of time we want. So we're going to say interval, then colon, and the amount of time that we want it to actually take. Now I reckon that was about 
five seconds, so that would be 5,000 milliseconds. Let's speed it up to 2,000 just so we can see if it's going to work or not. should work fine. Now let's save that and see if it makes a change. Now when I refresh, 1,000, 2,000, 1,000, 2,000. See, it's now two seconds. And of course, you can go back and do it the other way around. Make it seven seconds. That should be pretty discernible. And of course, this will work for if you've got it sliding as well. It doesn't have to be just on the fade. Save that. So we've got 7,000 milliseconds or seven seconds. That's still rolling it the two there. Now when I refresh. Yep. Yeah, one, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. Seven seconds. There we go. So that's pretty easy to do. Like I said, I'll put that bit of JavaScript below this video if anybody wants to copy it and use it very simple i'm sure you can just see what i'm doing here and type it out and of course the only other thing we did was change that from slide to fade i mean you've got to keep that carousel slide but you've got to put add that class of carousel dash fade as well so if i take that away and save. Just make sure our interval is going to work with our sliding slides. I'm pretty sure it will. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. There we go. That was counting a bit quick there. So, like I say, it works with both modes. I'm going to put that back in there. and save it there we go so that is how easy it is to change from a a sliding image to a fading image with your bootstrap 4 carousel and also how easy it is to set the timing if you've got more description here or you want people to linger on your slides for a little bit longer got more information to put out there so i hope you found that useful and enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to our channel if you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as, long as, some pre as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.